What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today we're gonna look at what a crazy weekend we had. This was like, <laughs> this is one of the toughest uh, weekends in Latvia that we have every year. So we had two competitions, first was bench press. So t in today's video you're gonna see basically Team Legacy, my team, bench pressing. So this was Latvian National Championship for bench press on uh, your body weight for reps. So rules are strict, everything is IPF. So you need to fully lock out your elbows. Uh, uh, you need to basically touch, touch your chest. No jerking around. Everything is clear. There are two referees looking at you all the time. Um, so we were preparing for this and this is like a start for European tour. So we're preparing for Europeans. We need to build best base for our shoulders and our triceps. And we usually get this competition. So. Here you see me bench pressing 74 kilos, I weighed in 74 kilo and zero, right on spot, get into the category uh, like I was expected and um, it felt awesomely easy, so it was like uh, first 25 reps uh, was like uh, there was no weight on the bar, next 10 I start feeling something, uh, I was going to break Latvian national record and I was preparing to do 45. Now thinking back, I should have been preparing to do 50 because I wanted to break a record just by one time. I didn't want, and here you see me, this was 45th time and I didn't do it. So I came, I repeated the record, but I didn't break it. It, again, it gave me a win in my class. I think uh, this was fourth year in a row and um, I got second in overall. Here you see one of my guys, Elvis, he's uh, also benching 74 kilos, but the thing is, he was, uh, he always played to win, so he was going into 83 kilo class, not 74, so he weighed in and 74 kilos and 200 grams, so he won one class up and he finished fourth there. So uh, as you see, different styles, Elvis is more a little bit aggressive than myself, he's uh, using more of a leg drive than I am and basically different things so he did awesomely well if he would competed in 74 kilo class where he weighed in uh, because he stepped on scale on 73.8 kilos but he drink some water to get over it he would become second in my class but uh, he plays to win and uh, next year next year he's gonna win so basically next guys were juniors uh, juniors under 18 we had two of two of my guys first was Edwards Edwards uh, Grillstans he will compete in European Championship too we don't know the class right now but uh, in bench press he competed in 59 kilo class he's young this is his first bench press competition ever and uh, basically he did awesomely well he did better than we expected because uh, in training session he did like 20 times 22 times his body weight it was 60 kilos he weighed in at 59 kilos got in a category and uh, and he blasted he did 25 reps it was awesomely good for him he came second in overall in juniors under 18 kilo class uh, basically the guy who won overall did the same number but he was uh, a bit heavier and always in overall class the heaviest guys wins so Edwards did really great job I'm really proud of him this uh, there are a lot more things in future for him coming soon and uh, I'm, I'm really proud of his result so this was his first time bench press competition and he won Latvian championship so um, I think uh, after we get back from Europe he gonna uh, train a little bit for power before world championship and uh, then we're expecting to him to compete and also bench press for one rep max i think he can do that as great as well um, but um, right now we're gonna focus on arm wrestling so we as i said this was a crazy weekend on saturday we had bench press competition on sunday we had arm wrestling we had first stage of latvian cup uh, it was like we had to take uh, it started springtime so we take the one hour forward and I woke up and I was like feeling like I need to sleep one more hour and that was the hour they took away from me 
and uh, I felt I felt exhaustion basically when I came on Sunday but uh, but this video will be up tomorrow you will see there was so many great things and um, it was it was really good competition Edwards wasn't uh, as you see by his face <laughs> he wanted to do more he thinks he should have done more but uh, I think he did the best he could uh, next is uh, my little brother Rollins he's 15 years old uh, he, he's uh, I think future not only in bench press but in armistice too we're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot more tomorrow on the next video because he did uh, some crazy unbelievable things in our armistice competition so he's 15 years old his best uh, result on bench press is I think 95 kilos we have done 97 or 100 in training session but uh, here he was uh, preparing in training he did maximum of 14 reps so here he broke his personal best he did 16 good reps and um, he came in second place which is really good for him we uh, f first time in this kind of competition he never bench pressed his body weight for reps he got uh, some first places in bench press competition but uh, he was uh, one of the youngest guys in all competition and he did one of the best jobs so 16 reps for 70 kilos I know a lot of guys that are basically twice as old that can do that so this this was a good day for Rollins uh, he struggles with his right arm this is because a year ago he broke his right arm so uh, he improved since then dramatically and you can see he's very very happy this was a great win for him he just he did everything he could next one on the start is Armand so Armand is one of those guys who's just incredibly strong he competes sometimes in arm sling he mostly competes and I train him for bench press he is um, just naturally strong 60 sometimes 63 65 kilos here 65 kilos his best bench press is 135 kilos and um, he was preparing but but work was taking over and he didn't prepare as good as he wanted to so he did his best he finished first in his class and uh, third in overall he did 21 29 reps I'm sorry 29 reps for 65 kilos as you see again as you look at all of my athletes none of them has same technique we all have different techniques I don't uh, basically I don't go by like some trainers do they just like take one technique and everything everyone needs to bench press like that no everyone's is different everyone has different angles different arm length different uh, arches in back and things like that so Armand's has very good arch in the back he very good uses his shoulders he's not moving his shoulder blades he's staying there he's uh, basically he's meant for bench press and he's also very good in arm sling last year he won latvian cup in 70 kilo class in uh, pro men so that says a lot of him so basically arm wrestlers came to bench press competition and we smashed it we we didn't have full team if we had eight competitors maybe we could get in top positions in uh, but there were so many classes for masters for open for juniors 18 juniors 23 so and uh last one vladislav's I think everyone already knows Vladislaus. He's a beast, not only on armsing table, but uh, right now he bench presses uh, close to 150 kilos for his one rep max. Uh, last year he competed first time and he won this competition, but um, this year he had work day before. He came to my house at 6 a.m. in the morning and went to sleep. And in three hours we went to do the weigh-in, and then we had to come back. And so basically he was exhausted and he did all he could and it took 23 reps and he finished in um, third place so Vladislav did as good as he could do and uh, from all the exhaustion but uh, again we just finished this phase of building basically uh, all the antagonists that gonna work in arm sling and we were gonna prepare for Europe and we have national championship in armistice on April 21 so I think those things gonna come in handy when uh, attendance are stronger you're feeling better so Vladislav wasn't very uh, satisfied with his performance 
he always again plays to win but uh yeah we did as as good as we could so here you see some um crossfitters trying to do some pull-ups yeah we there was a big uh, sport expo and there was a lot of things but um anyway i'm gonna sign off there are some things that you can still watch uh, we basically found the calisthenic place where guys were doing calisthenics and uh, armistice put everyone to shame so yeah keep on watching and uh if you have a chance subscribe to the channel <laughs> no you should already be subscribing to this channel uh part three coming soon and um uh, if you have a chance to support it check out patreon.com you can support me by that and uh, part three gonna come out tomorrow see you next time guys thank you for watching